Hey guys, this is Mike again, uh, just here with uh, another World of Warcraft strategy video. Uh, this week I really wanted to talk about kind of the most fundamental and important strategy I believe to World of Warcraft. Uh, and that's why I've titled this uh, talk, The Most Important World of Warcraft Strategy to Ever Master, and I really believe that. Uh, I have an image here of a Nether Drake mount, and it just goes to show um, kind of, this is a really kind of cool, uh, neat, kind of fun mount to play with. It's also very difficult to achieve, uh, but it's very achievable using kind of these fundamental strategies I'm going to give you here today. Um, and the really question I have for you is, do you really want to be the best, the strongest, and the most honored World of Warcraft player? Do you want to have awesome titles and epic mounts? And do you want to really have the respect of the other players? Um, then really take home and take to heart the strategy I'm going to share with you this week. Um, that strategy really can be summed up here with these next few words. And that's simply, you need to stand on the shoulders of giants. Sounds a little strange. Huh? Well, I have an image here to kind of illustrate this point. This painting was drawn up in the 1600s. And as you can see here, we have a big old giant with a little dwarf standing on his shoulders. And this giant is strong and sturdy has the muscles, uh, kind of knows his stuff, he's faster, he's taller, he can see further than the itty bitty little dwarf. But what the dwarf is doing here is he's using the giant to stand taller and stronger than the giant himself. Who can see further, the dwarf or the giant? The truth is the dwarf can. Now the dwarf didn't have the strength or the abilities that the giant did, but he correctly used them in such a way that he became more effective and stronger and could see further than the giant himself. That kind of brings me to my point here with all of this, and that is ultimately the key is to use the right guides to do the grunt work for you. And what I mean by this is there's a, a lot of great guides out there to do things like uh, effective power leveling, uh, getting a lot of gold quickly, um, even things like the daily quests, uh, using these guides really helps you solve problems in World of Warcraft substantially fast. So you can level uh, a character with under under a week's time uh, uh, versus weeks or months it could take otherwise. The point is, use these materials. They're not that expensive, and uh, ultimately they'll help you get through things a lot faster. This frees up time, as I'm saying here. This frees up time. For you to do the critical fine tuning and practicing to the character. This is what the guides cannot do for you. They cannot pick out the best, the best uh, equipment for your, your character. They, they can't figure out the best spells. Uh, they can't practice for you. You still need to do the practicing, the right mods. This is what you need to spend your time on. But it's so easy. It's so easy to waste a lot of your time on um, on things like quests and just grinding up your character, it, it, it's not worth it. Or even just kind of figuring all the details of a daily, or, or wasting your time on gold strategies that just don't work, or you just don't understand how, how it should work. Um, the time you spend doing these fine-tuning uh, fine and practicing things will truly make your character great. So my point is, use Use what's already out there. Stand on the work of those smart people who have come before us. Don't waste your time with it. Take it to the next level. Stand high and, and above the rest of the people. And you will be strong and you will do well. Um, let me just uh, illustrate a quick example here. There was this, uh, a friend of mine named John and another Eric. They both started World of Warcraft about the same time. John, he started out and he kind of took some of these principles to heart. Um, you know, I didn't know these principles back then. He just kind of figured them on his own. He used some good strategies, uh, got some good guides. He got a gold guide. He got a leveling guide. He also got a daily guide. And it helped him um, really get through kind of grinding the, the grunt work a lot faster uh, and got those things done. So he could spend the time really fine-tuning his character. On the other hand, Eric uh, didn't want to go that route. He didn't want to spend the money. Uh, it just, just wasn't right for him. But what ended it up is he took a lot, a lot of time to kind of solve these quests and things and didn't know the most optimized paths to solving things and just wasted time on that. And, and the result was substantial. I mean, John went on to be one, a, a very strong World of Warcraft player and Eric, um, to be truthful, is still struggling. 
But it comes down to this solid time management and using what people have done uh, before you and really fine tuning and, and, and improving your character and using your time to do that later. Um, so just kind of last slide here. Uh, some of the guides I personally like the best are the Zyger guides. They they have a um, uh, a leveling guide out there as well as a daily guide. And I also recommend the gold guide and I have some resources down below the uh, video here but it's not the point the point is not which guide to pick. Pick the guide that's right right for you. The point is to stand on top uh, of these giants who came before you. Use what they've learned. They have lots of people fine-tuning their processes and, and really getting these strategies just down and just perfect and use them. Use them so you don't waste no time and so you can fine-tune the most important thing to your character to, to improve it. Um, so again, just go down underneath this video, just take some time, look at those uh, uh, links and um, kind of kind of figure out your strategy, figure out what guides work best for you, then come back and, and check out our other strategy videos to help fine-tune your character. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.